Hello friends, this video on integrals part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 26. Let's solve one more example. 2x by x square plus 3x plus 2. We can solve this kind of question using partial part also. If you see, we have partial function where we used to convert this into x square plus k square form, right? We can do that as well. But in this question, in this part, we will try to solve it in partial fraction. So let's first convert this into x minus a into x minus b form. So if you see x square plus 3x plus 2, I can write as x square plus 2x plus x plus 2. And this is nothing but x plus 2 into x plus 1. Correct. And this I have to write now as a by x plus 2 plus b by x plus 1. When you solve this, you get x plus 2 into x plus 1, a into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 2. Correct? So let's put x is equal to minus 2 here. Right? You get x equal to minus 2. You get a into minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 2 plus 1 plus b into minus 2 plus 2 that is 0 is equal to 2 into minus 2 or you get a as minus 4 by minus 1 correct and that is nothing but 4 similarly let's put x is equal to minus 1 here x is equal to minus 1 you get a into minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 plus b into minus 1 plus 2 that is 1 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 into minus 1 or you get b is equal to minus 2 by 1 that is minus 2 thus this guy 2x x square plus 3x plus 2 dx I can write as a that is 4 by x plus 2 dot dx plus minus 2 by x plus 1 dx. Correct. This is nothing but if you see, you will take 4 common 4 by x 1 plus dx. You take minus here, minus 2 common, that becomes 1 by x plus 1 dx. And this is very simple. This is nothing but log of x plus 2 4 obviously mod because log is always positive minus 2 log of x plus 1 plus some constant and that is my answer if you want to make it a little better this becomes log of x plus 2 to the power 4 right minus log of x plus 1 to the power 2 because 2 we take inside or this becomes log of x plus 2 to the power 4 by x plus 1 square the whole thing mod plus c and that is my answer. So very simple, not a big thing. The only thing is we have to confine the value of a and b. So in this kind of question, you don't need to think also much because just you see this kind of pattern and with this pattern, you know it will be of a by x plus 2 and b by x plus 1 form. Find the value of a and b and solve the question. Let's take one more example. 3x plus 5 by x cube plus minus x square minus x plus. Now to apply the same partial fraction, I have to convert this into x minus a, x minus b, x minus c form. So let's try that. Now the question is how will we do that? So let's suppose if my fx is equal to x cube minus x square minus x plus 1. I have to convert this into x minus a into x minus b into x minus c, right? That means a, b, c are factor of this. So if I can find any three numbers which will make this guy zero, that means those are the factor of these numbers. So let's try one because it looks, let's even try it. F1 is nothing but if you see one cube minus one square minus one plus one, correct? One cube minus 1 gone, minus 1 plus 1 gone, it's equal to 0. So that means x minus 1 is a factor. 
let's try with f of minus 1 this is nothing but minus 1 cube minus 1 square minus 1 plus 1 this is plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 1 this is also 0 so x plus 1 is also a factor let's try with 2 2 becomes 2 cube minus 2 square minus 2 plus 1 8 minus 4 minus 2 plus 1 9 minus 6 3 not equal to 0 3 not equal to 0 so 2 is not a factor so similarly we can try with 3 4 2 in number but we have found two factors with two factor itself what we can do is we can see what are the other factors let's divide this guy with this so let's divide x plus 1 into x minus 1 is nothing but x square minus 1 x square minus 1 with x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 correct so you take x here so this becomes x cube minus x gone correct and now you subtract so this becomes minus x square this is gone plus 1 so that means I have to multiply with minus 1 so you get minus x square plus 1 so that is x minus 1 is the remaining factor so I can say that my fx is nothing but x minus 1 into x minus 1 into x minus 2 correct this guy so I can write the question is now 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 whole square into x minus 2 so this part is done that means my 30% of the question is done now with this I can see that the pattern should be a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 square plus c by x minus sorry x plus 1 right with this I can make out that this pattern should be like something like this so, so I, I found this pattern 20% more is done so by 50% the question is done now I have to find the value of a b and c that is very easy I can do that so with this what you get is x minus 1 square into x plus 1 this is x plus 1 I think x plus 1 right so this becomes a into x minus 1 into x plus 1 b into x plus 1 c into x minus 1 square right now you keep putting the values you can put the value of x is equal to 1 you can put the value of minus 1 and you can try 1 minus 1 you can see from here only you can try 2 also so by putting different values you'll get the values of a b and c you find a is equal to i think minus 1 by 2 b is equal to you'll get 4 and c is equal to 1 by 2 you can solve on this one on your own you can solve you'll get values of a b and c thus my this equation is converted to this equation integral of a that is minus 1 by 2 bx of x plus 1 plus b that is 4 4 integral of bx by x minus 1 square plus c that is 1 by 2 integral of x plus 1 dx so this is very easy to find this is this is x minus 1 actually log of x minus 1 this is log of x plus 1 and this also is easy to find this is 1 by t square right then it becomes 1 by t. I mean, this is easy to find. We have done this kind of question. Step. And thus, you can find the answer. So, the main part here was converting this guy into this form and then analyzing that this kind of form needs a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 square plus c by x plus 1. So, if you are done with this, finding abc is not that difficult. And then, once you have the value of abc, finding integral is also not that difficult. Let's take one more example. This is also a very simple question actually. 5x by x plus 1. x square minus 4 I can write x plus 2 into x minus 2. Correct. Now this is of the form where I divide a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2 and c by x minus 2. Now you'll find the values of a, a, b, c. So if you find the value of a, b, c, I think a will come out to be 5 by 3 
b will come out to be minus pi by 2 and c will come out to be pi by 6. With this, if you put the values, this becomes the whole thing integral base, this guy becomes 5 by 3 into dx of x plus 1 minus 5 by 2 integral of dx of x plus 2 plus c that is 5 by 6 integral of 1 by x plus 2 dx. Correct. And finding this is very simple log of x plus 1, log of x plus 2, log of x plus 2. And that is the answer. This is 5 by 3 log of x plus 1 mod actually minus 5 by 2 log of x plus 2 plus 5 by 6 log of x plus 2. And that is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.